Hello coffee friends, my name is Tom from Tom's Coffee Corner and today we're going to take a look at this. This is a portafilter for the La Specialista espresso machine from DeLonghi and what we want to do is cut the bottom off. Now you may be asking, Tom, why would you want to cut the bottom off of this portafilter? The reason is really twofold. First of all, we want to be able to see the beautiful espresso coming down. Reason number two is we want to be able to also check and analyze our puck preparation. You can really only see well enough if the bottom has been cut off. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. All right, so the first thing that we have to do is measure out how deep our basket goes. And based on that, we're going to determine how much to cut off. So I'm using an IMS basket here. Let's just measure that one time goes down to about 28 millimeters. So let's make some points here on the portafilter. Let's cut it down to 30 in that case. Mark 30 there, 30 there. Then we're gonna go ahead and just connect that line. I'll use a piece of flexible paper here. Okay, so now we've got our line drawn. And we have to make a cut downwards then here. I'm gonna angle it like that on both sides. So here we go. This is the finished line right here. That is what we wanna cut off. Everywhere that you see an X, all that material is going to be removed. Next step is to take out the spring. The plastic part inside is also stuck in there. Um, so that's going to get cut out when we use a grinder. You could also use a hacksaw or a band saw. In our case, we have a grinder available, so we're going to cut this with a grinder. So let's go into the workshop. Before we get started, guys, do this at your own risk and proceed with caution. Okay, make sure to wear protective equipment. Guys, you see all the tools that were needed here, some really heavy gloves for grinding, a face mask for grinding, heavy clamps for holding the portafilter. We needed a grinder itself as well as a drill for deburring. Three different blades um, for the grinder, some files, and a couple of other tools to end up with this. And so I really can't recommend that you do this at home. This video is really for entertainment purposes only and I could only do it with the help of my father-in-law because he has all the tools and experience to do it. This is very strong stainless steel. So yeah, just take this video for entertainment purposes only. guys I hope that this video was helpful for you and if so please give it a like and check out the other videos on this channel if you like what you see subscribe to the channel it's totally free until next time I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking bye now